Welcome to the Child Care Provider Nutrition and Food Safety Educational Video presented by Tri-County Health Department. This brief presentation will review your role in nutrition and food safety in your child care. The topics in this video address many of the commonly asked questions about food and beverage service in the child care setting. Our goal is to promote health through the prevention of foodborne illness while still providing nutritious foods and beverages in a positive environment. First, handling breast milk and having a breastfeeding friendly environment. As a child care professional, you play a critical role in supporting moms to achieve their breastfeeding goals, including moms you employ. We are lucky in Colorado because we have an entire toolkit dedicated to breastfeeding and child care, which can be found at this link. Here are a few tips when handling breast milk in the child care setting. Gloves do not need to be worn, but you should wash your hands before handling any food, including breast milk. Check the name and date of the storage container before serving. Breast milk and formula should be clearly labeled so each teacher knows which type they are handling. Swirl the container to gently mix breast milk, but do not shake vigorously. Breast milk can be stored at room temperature for one hour or less, in the refrigerator for 24 hours or less, and in the freezer compartment with separate doors for six months or less. More details and information about the specifics of handling breast milk in the childcare setting are found in the toolkit. Having a breastfeeding friendly childcare policy in place supports infants in your care and their families by outlining the specific steps that your program takes to ensure that the environment is safe when handling breast milk. A sample policy is found in the toolkit. Next is the use of produce in the childcare setting. We encourage the use of fruits and vegetables at each meal and snack. Children learn to enjoy new foods by seeing them often. They may not eat the food the first, the second, or even the third time it's offered, but perhaps the next time they will. When serving fresh produce, be sure that the fruits and vegetables are washed in an approved prep sink at your center or packaged as pre-washed and ready to eat. Remember that any type of produce can be nutritious for kids, whether it's fresh, frozen, canned, or dried. Family Style Meals Family style meals give children many opportunities to develop skills. Fine motor skills are practiced when children help set the table, pour the milk, pass the bowls, and use service utensils to place food on their plate. Social skills are utilized when children ask for a bowl to be passed and when they say thank you afterwards. Family style meal service is an effective way to introduce new foods since children choose which foods and how much to put on their plate. Keep food safety in mind and make sure no one grabs food with their hands. If employees are handling food, they should be wearing gloves or using a utensil. Access to drinking water. Children need to have access to safe drinking water whenever the facility is operating. It's best to allow children to get drinking water both inside and outside from self-service and to prompt them to drink water throughout the day. With safety in mind, it's important that individual water bottles are washed, rinsed, and sanitized daily, and that bottles or single-service drinking cups are not shared with other children. Drinking fountains are not allowed if they're located on the only hand-washing sink in the room. Please contact your health inspector for drinking water access ideas that you may utilize in your facility. Involving children with food preparation as a way to engage the children. When children have the opportunity to stir, scoop, or mix foods before eating them, they are more likely to want to taste them. It's important that safety precautions are in place when children participate in the food preparation. Children should handle utensils that are appropriate for their age and development, and they should not touch food with their bare hands unless it's meant just for them to eat. Of course, proper hand washing should always take place before handling any food. Healthy donated foods. Do you like to have parents donate foods for a group of children to share on occasion? If so, a few simple precautions help keep the food safe. Parents are limited to bringing non-perishable items to prevent the possibility of temperature abuse. Since we encourage healthy foods that are perishable, it is recommended that you create a way for parents to donate funds for staff to purchase snacks such as yogurt or hummus. Parents are allowed to bring whole, uncut produce if your facility has been approved for produce preparation. Unsweetened, shelf-stable fruit cups can be another way for parents to donate a healthy option. 
That's all for today. Remember, we need your help ensuring that these steps are taken to keep children safe and healthy. Thanks for watching and have fun caring for the children at your center.